So anemia can be both a symptom of cancer and the result of cancer treatment. Dr. Christopher Hill is a practicing Hamilton oncologist and the president of the Canadian Hematology Society joins us with more. And you're here with uh, an exciting advancement as well. But first of all, let's people think about anemia. It's like, oh, it's low blood count, red blood count. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, you're tired and maybe short of breath and you need iron. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and it's a lot of what hematologists do, actually. So the way anemia gets discovered is often on blood work. Could be by accident because you're having blood work for a different reason or you're having symptoms like what you mentioned. And what your doctors or nurse practitioners or you will see is a low hemoglobin value. And uh, it could be from you know, low iron, which is the most common cause of, mm -hmm. in Canada of anemia, but it could be from a blood cancer or it could be from another nutritional disorder. There's hundreds and hundreds of causes of anemia. Right, and we're not here to let anybody know that, you know, if you're anemic, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have cancer. Exactly, yeah. That would be a rarer cause of it. Again, the most common yes. cause being iron deficiency, typically from menstruation, having your period. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but you're here with uh, kind of so an exciting um, treatment advance that mm -hmm. was developed in Hamilton. Yeah, so we participated in a clinical trial of a drug called mamelotinib, and it's for a very rare form of blood cancer called myelofibrosis, but I think it just speaks to some of the important developments in cancer medicine that we're seeing across the world. Mm -hmm. And so patients with myelofibrosis, their bone marrow, which is the factory where blood is made, actually gets taken over by scar tissue. So those healthy blood stem cells that are normally churning out trillions of blood cells an hour, just aren't there. And so we need treatments, and typically those treatments would have been blood transfusions, some other medications, and obviously blood transfusions are a very, very important part of cancer treatments and medications, but some of the past medications for myelofibrosis actually made the anemia worse, made the blood counts worse. So this new medication, mamelotinib, which we studied in Hamilton and has just gotten Health Canada approved, not only helps with the symptoms of myelofibrosis, but it also raises the blood counts. Okay, uh, and it's a pill. It's a pill, yeah, yeah, taken once a day. Right. You talked about transfusions and, and, and you said like the, you know, the big takeaway that you want people to do is, is if you can, to donate blood. Absolutely. Now, of course you can't if you're anemic. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, I mean, there's certain, you know, rules mm -hmm. and processes that you need to follow in order to be able to donate blood. But in, in many, many areas of medicine, transfusion is very, very important, but in cancer medicine, for sure. So I work in the field of blood cancers and most of our patients at some point in their journey or another will need a blood transfusion. And that is impossible if we didn't have the generosity of blood donors. And, and so you rely on those those bags, you know, you don't get the bags of blood there, but the blood products that come from donations. Depend. I think it's even stronger yeah. than rely. Yeah. You know, we, we definitely need people constantly going to donate. You know, blood doesn't last forever. Of mm -hmm. course, it's refrigerated and stored, but that's only for six weeks that we can keep blood that's been donated. So every single day of the week, every day of the year, we need people going in and donating blood so we can do the work that we do to get people through their cancer treatments. Mm -hmm. We've got about a minute left. Left, but what are some of the signs uh, to really be looking out for if you are anemic? Yeah, so if, if you're told you're anemic because of a finding on blood work, things that you'd want to report to your healthcare team would be shortness of breath. You know, certainly anybody who's short of breath at rest, if you and I were just sitting yeah, here and panting that's along, a problem. that would be a big problem. But if you used to be able to carry the laundry basket up the stairs, now you can't. The groceries in from the car or bus, like, and, and now you're really panting along. You know, that, that's a sign that your body's craving oxygen, which which is shortness of breath is is what your body will do there. You know, really, really tired out of your usual. We're all tired, of course. Okay, yeah. But that that complete fatigue is is something you'd want to make something sure people to look know out about. for. Yeah. Okay, we'll get the link up to uh, all the websites and and everything for anemia and cancer up on our website at chch.com/morninglive. Thanks very much, Dr. Hillis. Thank you.